this is your home. What a gorgeous old place. It's been our family home for nearly 200 years, so it's a lovely place to live and grow up. And uh, this goes back to 1824. Brickenden is a Georgian house built by William Archer. The working hub of a convict village that's still preserved today, thanks to its UNESCO World Heritage listing. This one house has always been home to the Archers. So how many generations now are we talking about? Well, the first William came out and then my son Will, Will is the seventh generation to be at Brickenden. William came out in 1824. He arrived here with some of the first merino sheep in Australia. I think we might have had one of the first flocks. So the four brothers all came out together and they were keen on farming. They were single men and looking for a new world. Arriving from the other side of the world with just 77 merino sheep, William achieved great success. This was largely by taking advantage of the readily available free labour force of recently transported convicts. In the early days, especially up until 1830, if you could get land and you could get workers, obviously convicts, you could make quite a lot of money quite early. My grandmother never mentioned the word convict, um, and I don't think we learnt much in school about it, but certainly it's a huge part of the, the Tasmanian kind of history. Um, and it was probably hidden by some families for some reason. So it's a completely new kind of story for a lot of people. And today, people are proud of their convict heritage, which is great. Louise, you married into this family, but has the Archer history become just as important to you now, perhaps? Oh, it becomes a little bit over-encompassing. <laughs> Yeah, well, you live, eat and breathe it every day. <laughs> so it is very interesting history and it's a very, very interesting that the family has made luckily good decisions over the years to, to keep the land and to be able to continually farm it. Does all of this feel like an overwhelming responsibility at times? Uh, I use the word sometimes drowning in sentiment, Heather. <laughs> um, it's something you've got to be you're conscious of, but I mean, every day I look out here at the garden and the farm and I just feel lucky to be here. It's a lovely place to live. Just like the six William Archers before him, it's now fallen to Louise and Richard's son, William, to take on the epic task of managing this estate. <laughs> If it wasn't one continuous family, there probably wouldn't be the passion there. Just knowing that every generation has worked the hardest they can to keep this property. And that's where the passion lies. And I just don't want to really be the one to lose it. Did you feel under some pressure that this was what you were expected to do? The pressure was almost the other direction. Dad had a pretty, pretty tough time at back in the sort of 80s and 90s droughts and things like that. So there was probably more pressure to leave the farm and do some, try my hand at something else. But then it's just, you can't, it's in you, it's in your blood. You just can't get away from it. Can I assume that if you have kids one day, you want them to take over? Yeah, well, that, that would be ideal. Um, I mean, I'd like to have a son who's an AFL footballer, but if that doesn't happen, um, farming's probably the next best thing. <laughs>